Let's do a very simple one. It is very, very, very easy. Let's see this. It is says that measures of some angles are given. So we have a figure here and in this figure there are measures of some angles given. You can see we have angle APQ given as 60, angle ABC given as 60. That's the information. And we need to prove AP upon PB is equal to AQ upon QC. Now think and tell when will we get this AP upon PB equal to AQ upon QC. When can we get that? We can get these ratios equal provided PQ is parallel to BC. So somehow we need to get PQ and BC to be parallel. If we get this, we are getting those ratios to be equal. Isn't it? Yes, we'll get it by basic proportionality. But for that, how do we get the lines parallel? Yes, look at the information which we have. We have these two angles, angle APQ and angle ABC. They are, can we say they are congruent? Yes, they are congruent. Why are they congruent? Because each are of same measure, that is 60 degree. And what type of angles are they? It's a pair of corresponding angles. And we know that if corresponding angles are congruent, lines are parallel. So we can say now that PQ is parallel to BC. And the reason there is nothing but we have the reason as corresponding angle test. So we got these two lines parallel. Let's say that's the result number one. Now since we got this parallel, now in this triangle, can we apply basic proportionality theorem? Yes, we can. So let's do that. Let's write the steps. So we write in triangle ABC, we have this segment PQ parallel to BC. From where did we get that? From one. So we write that. And since we are applying this, now we get this ratio AP upon PB is equal to AQ upon QC. We write that AP upon PB is equal to AQ upon QC. And we know the reason for this. This is nothing but by basic proportionality theorem. And this is what we were supposed to prove. Was that easy? So very simple, right?